Hi. Hi, this is Roger McFarland from the Gay Men's Health Crisis. Oh, hi. Hi, what can I do for you? Yeah, uh, I seem to have Kaposi's sarcoma. Hotlines in New York and other cities where the greatest number of people were afflicted began getting about 50 calls a day from worried homosexuals. Today, still, the largest number of victims, 75%, are homosexuals, particularly those with many sexual partners. But several other groups have been affected as well. 14% are intravenous drug users. 5% are Haitian immigrants. 1% are hemophiliacs. And 6% fall into none of those categories. 94% of the victims are male. In addition, 20 children have AIDS-like symptoms. And most of the children have had a parent or close family friend who also had the syndrome. Do you have it too? Yeah. Oh. It's only my immune system. My immune cells are low too. So far, 40% of all those who have been afflicted have died. And the Center for Disease Control says that the mortality rate could turn out to be as high as 80%. The groups affected have provided some clues about AIDS. Dr. Spartaco Belomo is head of adult immunology at St. Michael's in Newark. AIDS, AIDS uh, seems to be transmitted via contact either with blood, saliva, urine, or feces. Sperm? Also sperm. In other words, any, ex any excrement, excretion, or secretion seems to be the key. And that's what we're looking into now at St. Michael's. What about the Haitians? Well, that's an interesting point. Uh, what we feel is that there's a, a ritualistic voodoo rite that we know that they, some Haitians do have in where they come in contact with excrement, either blood or urine or feces of various animals that may, again, may transmit this unknown agent. S since coincidentally, we noticed the arrival of the Haitians with the arrival of the AIDS syndrome. The AIDS story took a new turn when... A